Baldur's Gate 3's PC release date has been moved to avoid the release of Starfield and we have found out about how long it's going to take to beat the game. The developers of the game have moved the release date of the PC version of the game by one month which is probably the smartest thing to do. No game at this point wants to have to compete with a game like Starfield. Baldur's Gate 3 was originally planned to release on August 31st which is now a day before the Starfield's early access is set to release. We now know that they have moved the PC version of the game up and it will now be released on August 3rd, almost a month before the planned release date. With the release date of the PC version being moved up a month, if you were worried about choosing between playing Starfield or Baldur's Gate 3, now you might have time to carve out some time to play both if you want to give both games a try. Console users, however, are not as lucky. The PlayStation 5 version of the game has been moved back a week and will now release on September 6th and the Xbox version of the game still has no release window. They have delayed the PS5 version of the game to allow the team more time to improve the game and help them hit the 60 frames per second performance goal. As for the Xbox version of the game, the developers have said that they've run into some technical issues in the development of that version of the game, and they are not yet at a point where they feel confident enough to announce a set in stone release date on Xbox. The main issue they are running into is getting the split screen co-op function to work properly on the Xbox Series S. However, if you are a PC player and you're excited that you're getting the game a month early, you might have a lot of gameplay ahead of you if you're trying to finish the game before Starfield's launch. The developers of Baldur's Gate 3 have said that one run of the game on average takes 75 to 100 hours to complete, and if you're wanting to completely 100% the game, it will take about 200 hours for that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest gaming news.